Hey Queens, I'm Tamada, the founder and CEO of Break It. I just want to thank you all so much for being a member of this incredible subscription box. So without further ado, let's get into this tutorial for butterfly locks. And if you're not a big fan of butterfly locks, that's fine. You can definitely use um, the, the braiding hair for any other styles that you like. So everything that comes in this kit will serve a purpose for installing this look. So the first thing you have is your shine and jam. And then you have your crochet hook, your hair jewelry, a rat tail comb. Then you should have some leave-in conditioner by Maya Organics. And that is not in the video, but it should be in your boxes. Um, and then you have four packs of your Altre Springy Twist hair. So the first thing I'm doing is using some Shine and Jam. And I'm putting that in her scalp to define the parts because straight parts are really, really important for a clean look. My model for this look is my little sister. So before I started braiding her hair, I moisturized it using the leave-in conditioner. So it's really important that you all moisturize and hydrate your hair before you do any type of protective styling. So what I'm doing here is using her natural hair to do some individual braids or single braids. And for some of you who may not be really comfortable with doing your own hair, something that you can do as an alternative is use rubber bands. So while using rubber bands, you want to make sure that um, your hair is either twisted or tucked away because you will be wrapping it with the synthetic hair. So you just want to make sure that it's all neat and not all over the place. I also want to mention that I am not a professional YouTuber. I don't record videos for a living, so please bear with me uh, with the quality of the video and even my voice. We're working on it and we're going to definitely make sure that the next videos are up to standard. Alright, so we're done with our 50 individual braids. So here I have the Altre Springy Twist Hair. So each pack comes with three bundles and each bundle has seven individual um, strands of hair. Not strands, you know what I mean. Alright, so we're going to use one of those strands or sections I should say. So now you're going to take your crochet hook, you're going to put, put the crochet hook through the hair, her natural hair, and then hook the synthetic hair and then just pull through. One thing that I really like about this Altre Springy Twist hair is that it comes already pre-fluffed so you don't have to waste any time trying to fluff it out or tease it. Um, it already comes like that so that saves you a ton of time. So basically what you're going to be doing is wrapping one end of the hair on top of the other. So the hair that you're using to wrap, you want to make sure it's the longer strand. So the hair that's underneath, uh, make sure that it's the length that you want the, the butterfly locks to be. So I'm just doing about two or three wraps around the scalp and then I'm just leaving some space as I wrap down. And so the way you want to do this butterfly lock is you want to pull your thumb through half of the hair and then wrap over it. And then you're going to release and then continue to wrap but making sure that you're not covering or wrapping over the hair. So this is a slow motion of what I just did. So you're putting your thumb through and then you're going to continue to wrap the hair but you're wrapping it in front of your thumb and then you're going to release your thumb and then wrap behind the little hump making sure that you're not wrapping the hair on top of it because you want that to be sticking out so you're just gonna continue to do that and the messier you want the look the more humps you should create. And so I didn't really count how many 
little bumps I did along the way, but you can do as many as you want or as little as you want. But the purpose of butterfly locks is to kind of have a more natural or messy look. So don't stress too much if your hump isn't the way you want it to be because when they all, once you're done with the entire look, it'll look good. When you get towards the end of the faux lock, um, just make sure that the ends are detangled because you don't want the curls um, or the springy curls to still be on there. So just detangle it as you go. And then what you're going to do is just wrap backwards or upwards, I should say, um, to seal the, the lock. So for this one, you don't have to worry about um, burning it or dipping it or doing anything all you do because this is spring twist hair it's really kinky so all you have to do is just wrap it backwards and then make sure that it's um, wrapped really tight but not too tight because you still want movement in the hair and then one thing that I would say is as you're wrapping it going backwards try not to wrap over the humps that you just created To seal the ends, you're going to rub the hair between your palms. Um, this just adds extra security. So like I said earlier, one thing I really like about this hair is you don't have to burn it. You don't have to dip it in hot water or anything like that. So um, because it's really kinky and textured, you're able to just wrap it between your palms and um, it'll seal it. So this is another example in regular speed. So we're putting our thumb through the hair. We're wrapping in front of our thumb once or twice. Um, I think I'm just doing it one time. And then you're wrapping the hair behind the hump. And you're just gonna continue this process until you get towards the end. And you'll notice that sometimes when you try to put your thumb through the hair or take it out of the hair, that it's really hard to take out or it's stuck. Um, my advice for that is to just put your thumb through the hair but don't stick it all the way through um, this just makes it really easy or a lot easier to take your thumb out
So we would have been done after this, but unfortunately I had to fix one of the faux locks because it was a lot shorter than the rest of them. So you'll see how I was able to do that. And it was really, really easy. And this step is also really important for those who might want longer butterfly locks. Because the hair comes in 16 inches, you might want it to be a lot longer than what I have here. So this step is important for you all to see because it shows you how to um, get that longer faux locks, butterfly locks. They're all faux locks, but you get the gist. <laughs> so what I did was cut the hair in half and you just want to leave enough of the butterfly lock that's already there you want to leave enough to hold on to and then you're just going to continue wrapping like you did in the previous butterfly locks and then as you're wrapping don't forget to use your thumb to leave some of that hump or the bump along the way and then you'll just continue wrapping until you get to the end and then you'll just seal it by wrapping it between your palms. And here I'm adding some hair jewelry and I believe I used all two packs of it. So I just want to thank you all so, so, so much for getting through this video. And I'll see you in the December box. Bye.